A man in Reed Spring thought he was getting a leg up, but a scammer kicked him when he was already down. He lost $1,000, and it all started on Facebook Messenger. He reached out to On Your Side so this doesn't happen to you. Here's Ashley Reynolds. So you were looking out your window. You yeah. were just waiting for the FedEx truck to arrive. Yes. Frank Oldham says he waited all day for an important delivery that never arrived on his porch here in Reed Spring. Ugh. Man. <laughs> I know. It's, I mean, I've been really uh, kind of stressed out. He thought he was talking to his uncle on Facebook. Turns out his kin was hacked. The scammer told Frank to talk to this agent. Frank was told he could apply for a $30,000 grant through the Department of Health and Human Services. Help me try to get my mortgage caught up, try to keep food in my house and stuff, and just keep our bills, you know, caught up. I mean, that's all it was for. Get caught up some bills and everything. I was behind, and yeah. <laughs> And now you're even more behind. Yes. All he had to do was pay $1,000 in processing fees and shipping via gift cards. I got two. Uh, well, first one was the American Express for $500. Then the next day I had to get another $500 of American Express gift cards. After waiting all day for the $30,000, he texted the scammer asking what was up. He was then instructed to send more money. Frank didn't have any left. How are you going to pay bills this month? Uh, I've been working with my creditors. And that's not all the crook took. But they do have your social. Yes, unfortunately. It, I mean, it's a hard lesson to learn. I just, I know I'm not going to fall for this again. Frank says he gave his social when he filled out that application. Remember, you do not win grants. You qualify for grants, and the process does not happen over Facebook. Frank also told me he should have asked the scammer, who was posing as his uncle, a personal question, something only the two of them would know. He says that would have saved him his money and a lot of heartache. Make sure you share this story so we can all help each other. Lisa. Thanks, Ashley. Shaping up to be a